Welcome back, everyone. Well, you know, I don't care where you go in the world. You mention the word Saratoga, and 99% of the time, someone will say back to you, horse racing. And believe it or not, I think before we went there, we were talking that 152 years in the running, pun intended. Uh, and 65 of those beautiful 152 years, we've had a real institution right here in Saratoga, which is a Museum of National Racing and Hall of Fame. And joining me today are two key people involved with that museum. I've got Victoria Tokarowski, who is the curator for the museum, and Hilary Hurley, I got it, who is the director of development. So first, welcome. It's really great to have you both here. Thank you. Uh, let's face it, snow's gone. Yes. I've gone by the flat track. They're out. <laughs> They're starting to work the, uh, the course. And uh, right across the road on Union Avenue, which is where the Saratoga flat track is, is the museum, right? Yes. So you must be waking up, too. That we are. We're quite uh, excited, uh, and I think I'm, um, you know, looking forward to a great meetup ahead, and yeah. uh, of course the Kentucky Derby. Yes, and oh, nice segue Thank there. You. As director <laughs> of development, a great segue. Uh, the Kentucky Derby is coming up May second, Saturday, Correct. May second. Uh, one of the hallmarks, just like the Travers and just like the things that we do here in Saratoga. But you're celebrating it in a really interesting way to help the museum. We are. So tell us a bit about that. Sure. So we decided this year to create a new fundraiser for the museum to get the local community involved um, by one, participating in the event, and then also with a great working committee of, of local influential and just great leaders in mm -hmm. the community. And we're having a fundraiser to benefit the museum um, on Kentucky Derby Day, which is called Bacon, Brews, and Brims. You're going to have to explain that to me, okay? Of course. So we have 26 different vendors coming in. We have um, many incredible restaurants, your Druthers, Longfellows, Old Brian Inn, mm. Boca Bistro, um, and, and plenty more that are going to be coming in doing their signature bacon dishes. <laughs> and so, um, which will be actually up for official judging by um, one of our working committee members, uh, Ashley Dingman, who is the blogger and owner of Saratoga Food Fanatic. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, different breweries and distilleries and a couple wineries are going to be coming in as well to sample some of their products as well. Um, so it's just going to be a great day to come in to explore the beautiful exhibits and collections to go into the Hall of Fame for the actual race mm -hmm. to take off at 6.30, watch it on the Jumbotron in the original and home of the uh, Hall of Fame. And so it's going to be a great day to kind of come out and to get excited for the kickoff of the season. Well, you know what? You gave me two of the bacon and brews. I got that part. Oh, What's and the, the brims. brims. How could come I forget? On. Of course, it is. We're encouraging people to dress to impress. So break out that derby hat, those sure. dresses, and those suits and bow ties, so on and so forth, and come for also a formal mm -hmm. judging by our good friend Natalie Sillery over at Saratoga Trunk um, so that we can post over by one of the original Derby trophies mm -hmm. um, and then again go and explore and have a great time while sipping on some mint juleps, eating some dishes and, and having a really um, fantastic Saratoga time. Saratoga has arrived. That's the season have. has <laughs> arrived. No better way to bring it in than with the Derby, right, yeah, of course. Definitely. Now, Victoria, I've been over the museum many times. Mm -hmm. You do a fabulous job as curator over there. The museum is living history but it's alive i i'm thinking of the exhibit that, that that really caught one of the exhibits that really caught my attention was exactly how all the turf is created on the track yep. itself and you know all of the colors of all of the of the past winners mm -hmm. all the photography the video yep. it's really really an impressive museum um given the fact that this is a fundraiser for the museum give me uh I'll give our viewers an idea what's going on currently in terms of exhibits mm -hmm. and what are you planning we actually have a lot of exhibits coming up this year, and it's actually a very important year at the museum. We're celebrating our 65th anniversary in 2015. Wow. Um, we have our most recent exhibition is on a local story and mm -hmm. an international racing story. It's called The Sanford Legacy, which is in our contemporary racing gallery, mm -hmm. and it explores the racing career of the Sanford family of the Amsterdam, New York. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a local story. It's an international story. It's a national story. And tying back to the Derby Party, the Sanfords actually won the Kentucky Derby in 1916 with George Smith. So we have wow. historic photos, slideshows, movies, artifacts, um, mm -hmm. Sanford Stakes trophies on display, a little bit of something for everyone. You know, that's one of the wonderful things about the museum, and again, I can tell you firsthand, is that I don't care what age you are. You know, just uh, it's such a part of the fiber of Saratoga to start with. 
But the whole idea, the category is so interesting, mm -hmm. you know, to find out about the history of these families. Before we went on air, Victoria told me that way back in like the early 1900s, the Sanford family used to walk their horses mm -hmm. yep. from Amsterdam here. I got news for you, that's not exactly a <laughs> short walk. No. <laughs> you, know, you, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, oh, it's uh, just so many interesting things. So uh, we'll cycle back. This is Saturday, May the 2nd, 3.30 mm -hmm. in the afternoon yes. to 7.30, right? Wonderful time of the day. And of course, it coincides with the, uh, with the, with the Derby, yes. uh, which probably goes off at about 6, 6.30 probably. Right? Yep, we'll be calling everyone into the Hall of Fame. We'll have Funk Evolution, which is our band playing in the Hall of Fame. Take oh a quick break. God. Oh, and what a following. A huge band, and like I mentioned, 11 pieces. They're yeah. fabulous. We're excited. We know they'll bring um, a big crowd in just because of just their name Ooh, alone. Um, and then we'll take a break. We'll call everybody in the Hall of Fame, and again, we'll watch the race actually mm -hmm. take off in the actual Hall of Fame. So we're very much excited for that. Well, this is wonderful. And by the way, the funds that they raise are going to help Victoria <laughs> and the rest of the staff there who are involved with actually creating the exhibits and making certain that uh, when an opportunity comes to you that you're able to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. um, there is a big fundraiser in the summer, as most people know, but this is a, this is a great one. Yeah. Great way to start the season off. You know, dress to impress, have some fun. Um, and also one other thing that they mentioned before we go, that uh, I don't know about you, but I, I sometimes I, I don't know exactly how to bet the trifecta, exacta, correcta, effecta, <laughs> and, uh, but you'll have some people there to help. We but, will. hey, this mm -hmm. is how you bet, you know, this is what yeah. you could do and give people some options there also. Yeah. So in case they have too many mint juleps or whatever they're <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they Likely get to happen. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the event again is Saturday, May the 2nd, which is the day of the Kentucky Derby, mm -hmm. which is really kind of the official kickoff. 3.30 to 7.30 at the museum, which is located right here in Saratoga on Union. And uh, have some fun. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's the idea. Yeah. Thank you both very Thank much you. for coming in. And I'll be there myself. We look forward to it. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.